so uh, as i briefly discussed that this is a series of modules uh, in which uh, we will be talking about creating super content so re remarkable content and in this module uh, i'll be continuing with the previous module we were talking about color and logo so uh, i'll talk in this module i'll talk about the aspects of logo and i'll also talk about and i will i will conclude this module at uh, what should be there in a home page which is the main page of the website home page is the page where the main traffic lands the organic search results i'll talk uh, more about it so let me uh, talk about the combination of colors and shapes and fonts that go into a logo so what's in a logo well to tell you the truth a lot of lot of thing is in the logo the companies uh, the, the 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 company itself the aspects of the company are in the logo so let's first look at the example of federal express now uh, the this this logo was redone in 1994 by lander and associates and uh, they were giving the task to come up with a logo and uh, if you look carefully at that logo you will see there is an arrow between uh, capital e and x i'll i'll hi hi highlight it for you you see here is the arrow over here this arrow is not uh, kind of clearly embedded it's kind of sublime and it gives the message of action it gives the message of uh, motion of focus and uh, this was done after trying out 400 logos 400 so that was done by lander and associates and uh, they discovered that when they put a capital e with the small x lower case x this arrow is generated so you see that tremendous amount of effort goes into creating a logo then is the second example is the logo of baskin and robbins which is the which everybody knows is the famous ice cream chain and in 2005 uh, they were uh, redoing or uh, their uh, their presentation or their uh, their logo also and uh, prior to that they had 31 flavors they still have those 31 flavors and in the older logos what they had was that 31 numbers was written in a circle and that circle kind of looked like a scoop of ice cream and what after they have redone and they have used this colors blue and pink color you can see over here which is showing uh, energy and excitement and fun that 31 is still here as you can see over here this is the b of the baskin and the and the r so 31 is still there so you see that the colors are there the shapes are there the message is there also and then we look at this example of data to business intelligence so we have the data then we have information then we have knowledge then we have intelligence so what it is showing is that a quantum leap from data shown on a hard disk to intelligence which is which is over here and shown by those arrows and the leftmost arrow the first leftmost arrow uh, looks like an eye a calm and and in peace so when the data is converted into intelligence uh, into intelligence then of course there is calmness and there is peace to see uh, how much important messages are there uh, in the logo so uh, if you have to say something if you have to tell something then uh, if that something can be conveyed using an image using a small video clip then why not do it what is the point of using lots of text so show instead of telling if you can convey your message by a, by an image instead of a thousand words then it is better that you use an image instead of thousand words on your website because remember when people come to the website they have a sh short attention span there are not few hundred websites there are millions of websites and if the person who comes to your website the visitor doesn't get the message which you are conveying that person is going to go away okay take them yourself these images uh, you have the device that device is your smartphone 
you can take the pictures but uh, be uh, careful about the background and the color and the lightning to take the picture yourself and uh, the other option is that you go for stock images which are very high quality and cost a fraction uh, as compared to the picture which which i can take and you can take but if you want to invest and if you are selling the products on the internet then engage a professional photographer for that investment is going to pay you and over here this this basically is a text which says my hero and it is overlapped and this creates a picture so instead of writing thousand times my hero i believe this is a picture of nelson mandela so this text is overlapped to create this visual message so about the mobile friendly if you recall in module number 5 i told you that 68% of the world population 68% penetration is of unique mobile numbers of course all of them may not be smartphones but they are they look at the statistics people are doing 80% of their purchase searches over their smartphone moving their fingers sliding over it and in a day or two 50% of them actually go to a store and make a purchase point over here is that having your website displayed on a mobile phone is not is not enough your website should be designed it should be designed for a positive impact on a mobile phone it should be optimized for a positive impact on a mobile phone so that the people they make the purchase using your mobile phone and uh, they they go for a purchase using your using your website on the mobile phone if it's not that case you're out of luck bad for you and finally uh, you have to make a first impression and that first impression comes from your home page and that home page is the key because there are numerous statistics uh, for example there's one statistic that 94% of the people who make a decision by looking at your home page your home page is the first page uh in which a visitor lands through organic search this is the home page from a blog traffic comes to your home page as opposed to a paid advertisement page so home page is critical so that's about it i have in this module